Hello and welcome. This is Mdasir Afraz from SeaWorldTechnologyForYou.com and today in this session we will start work in 3D. As we have done with 2D, so it is time to start 3D. So what I will do first, first I will change the workspace. For that I will go here and I will click on this drop down arrow. Here you can see different type of workspace. We are uh, just in drafting and annotation right now. So there are uh, 3D basics as well and 3D modeling. So I will just click 3D modeling for 3D. Okay. So I will select this one. And now you can see here entire interface of AutoCAD has been changed. Instead of 2D commands, you can see here all of the commands regarding 3D. Now here you can see modeling, mesh, solid editing. These are regarding 3D. Okay. Now the next step here will be I will just choose a template for 3D. Okay. So I will go here in application button. From here I will go into the new and here you can see some of the templates regarding 2D and 3D as well. For 3D there are two templates. One is ACAD 3D if you want to work in inches and there is another template that is ACAD ISO 3D if you want to work in millimeter or in metric. Okay. So I will select this one ACAD ISO 3D as I want to just work in millimeter so I will select this one and I will press open button okay here right now we are in realistic visual style so I will just change it into 2d wireframe for that I will just go into the view panel this is the view panel and from here I will just click on this drop down arrow and you can see here different types of visual styles okay here this is 2d wireframe conceptual hidden and re realistic and shaped so I will discuss them in next lessons okay so I will just uh, click here 2d wireframe now here you can see here are x axis y axis and z axis as well okay for 3d so now I just uh, want to add one primitive for that I will go here in box okay I will click on this drop down arrow from here I will select box okay now what I will do I will just uh, give first point as you can see here a box specify first corner point so I want to just give first point here now you can just uh, give length as well breadth as well or you can just uh, draw without dimension so here I want to just give a dimension for that I will just enter a command L and I will hit enter now uh, you have to just uh, give a dimension so for that what I will do I will just on the ortho mode here and uh, I want to give the length here uh, for example I want 500 millimeter and I will hit enter now I have to just give breadth here again I will give 500 and I will hit enter now you can see it is asking about height as well so I will just give here height of 500 mm now this shape is not looking like 3d because we are in 2d wireframe so I will just uh, change the visual style here uh, I can just go here as well to change this one or I will go here you can see here two buttons custom view and 2d wireframe I will click here you can change any of the style from here as well so I will just select this one realistic okay and now you can see this is solid shape here now if you want to change the background color you can change that as well I will just right click I will go into the options and from here make sure you are in display tab here and I will just click on display tab from here I will just select colors and make sure that in context you have selected 3d parallel projection and in interface element you have selected uniform background okay and from here you can choose any of the color and for example right now I need white so I will select this one and I will and just click on this button apply and close you can see here this is white background color okay now you can see this is white background color so right now I need black so I will click on colors I will go here and I will choose black and then I will just click on this button apply and close and then I will just click on apply and then I will press ok so this is all about this session I will see you in the next thank you